Hi, I'll be presenting um, Indiana's story today. Today we're talking about our gold mineralisation uh, project in the central Gawler Craton in South Australia. Just a um, quick corporate snapshot. Uh, Indiana has approximately 440 million shares on issue, a market cap of 26 million. Um, over the past year, our share price has been relatively stable, moving between five and 10 cents. Uh, we have an experienced board with a proven track record for creating shareholder wealth. Joining me at the conference and in the room today is Bronwyn Barnes, our executive chair. And um, I'll discuss in the story, but essentially how we're managing it is Bronwyn is responsible for the arbitration in Tanzania and I'm looking after all things South Australia. Uh, we have a very supportive shareholder um, base, uh, the top 20 holding over 50% and the board holding over 7%. Uh, predominantly high net worth um, individuals and have all been really supportive of the story of Indiana. Okay, so today's story will be a quick overview in two parts, um, initially focusing on our gold project in South Australia. Um, and um, we've been really excited by this project. We acquired the project in late 2020 and we've had a really compelling um, success at our gold prospect in Minos. Um, and then at the end, I will touch on our arbitration proceedings um, against the uh, government of Tanzania over the illegal expropriation of the Nataka Hill nickel asset. So in 2020, when Indiana was looking for a project, we were keen to move into the gold space and also get back into a safe jurisdiction um, and therefore acquired the Central Gawler project in South Australia from a private entity group called Patron Resources. It was a really um, contiguous, uh, large ground holding at the time. It was approximately 3,000 square kilometres. And whilst we were finalising the acquisition, we added another 2,000 uh, square kilometres to it. So now we hold just shy of 6,000 square kilometres um, in a really underexplored province, but an area with uh, proven, proven gold potential as illustrated by the mines on the area, um, including Challenger, the historical mining centre of Takula and the resource at Tunkilia. Uh, the area has had limited experience for the limited um, exploration experience for the past 30 years, was last explored uh, significantly in the 1990s. Fast forward today and there's been a real resurgence of activity in the area. Um, so essentially, when we acquired the project, we were really excited by the fact that even though it's really sparsely drilled, as you can see by the um, drill holes on the um, map here, there was already some gold uh, mineralisation really defined and some exciting targets to get to work on. Uh, our main focus has been on the Lake Labyrinth Shear Zone, which is the uh, red tram tracks that you can see running through the top northern portion of the project. Um, and this is a really fertile structure, over 60 kilometres, and we hold over 50 kilometres of this um, shear zone. Uh, and the mo main focus to us, for us to date, has been the centre of this shear zone at the Minos Prospect, which you can see marked on the map there. And the reason why we got to work on this area was this was the area that when we acquired the project, we had all of the existing regulatory approval, so it was ready to get to work. Um, but as you can see with our historic numbers on the side there, with 12 at 10 and 24 at 2, 6 at 12, it's proven to be a really great place to start. Uh, so I'm in Aus drilling to date. So acquired the project late 2020 and in January 2021 we really hit the ground running. Um, in the past 18 months we have completed just shy of 10,000 metres of RC and diamond drilling and 4,500 of metres of um, air core over the area. We have um, had some really compelling gold uh, results from this area, 21 at 8, 35 at 7, um, and the resources really stacking up to be really consistent along strike. We have um, gold mineralisation identified over a strike length of over 600 metres, and it's still open in the northwest and southeast, and at depth as well. Uh, we've only drilled to about 230, 240 metres. Um, we're looking forward to further investigating this area. The holes in green in the middle uh, was a drilling program which was completed in April, which we're looking forward to the results of these. This uh, drilling was focused on increasing the drill density of the area with the aim at putting out a resource later this year. And these are just some quick snapshots of the uh, mineralisation. As you can see, sub-vertical, very contiguous, um, and yes, some great, great, great gold results. 
In our southern portion of the project, uh, separate to the Lake Labyrinth shear zone, is where we have some Archean greenstone belts, uh, the Harris Greenstone Domain. There's uh, 120 kilometres of interpreted strike of these greenstone, greenstones heading throughout our tenure. And just earlier this year, we were able to register a native title agreement over this area, which smooths the process going forward for us being able to um, get, get along and work on the area. Uh, there's multiple gold targets within this area, including Area Dam, which was a historic high-grade uh, mine running 35 grams per tonne in the centre of the area, and various other gold targets. Coupled with this, we've also been doing a technical review um, to review these targets, as well as look for the potential for other commodities. Of note is the greenstone belt running through the middle there, Hopeful Hill, which has had various anomalous uh, zinc numbers to date. The southern portion, Lake Harris, uh, nickel numbers, and it's the easternmost occurrence of Kamadiite in Australia. And also the Boomerang Gold Prospect is also associated with some cobalt numbers. And now the other part of uh, Indiana's story is our compensation claim against the United Republic for Tanzania. Uh, this at the moment is at uh, US 93.7 million. And this arose from Indiana having an advanced nickel sulphide asset, Nataka Hill nickel asset in uh, Tanzania. And during, ta during 2017, uh, the Tanzania changed their mining code and this removed the provision for retention licences, which our um, Nataka Hill nickel asset was under. We engaged with the government for approximately two years. However, when no suitable form of tenure could be um, organised, then we commenced um, arbitration. So the arbitration commenced in April 2021, and uh, we're drawing really close to the end of this with the final hearing scheduled for January 2023. Just recently, the government of Tanzania has asked to engage in um, discussions regarding, regarding the settlement of the dispute, and um, there is the potential for settlement prior to hearing. Meetings were held both in April and May in Tanzania this year to discuss this potential settlement. Um, really important to note that Indiana secured litigation funding facility of US 4.65 million, um, and this is based on a success-based repayment. Um, this essentially means that all of Indiana's funds can go to exploring our um, project in South Australia and, you know, we don't have to worry about this division of funds in terms of organising for litigation as well. Uh, important to note that any award um, issued by ICSID is enforceable over assets held in any of the World Bank 155 member states. And um, yeah, Indiana is a 60% holder of the claimant subsidiaries. So essentially, um, we can get 60% of whatever claim is either awarded or potential settlement. So just to summarise, uh, we've had a really aggressive 2021 and the start of 2022, and we have multiple drilling programs uh, planned for the rest of our South Australian projects for the rest of the year. We are looking forward to our results from our April drilling program, which should be received within the next month. And we're really looking forward to expanding our footprint of area that we're working on over the um, tenement package. We've progressed all of our heritage agreements and environmental clearances and really looking forward to being able to really systematically explore this area, which we're really excited about. Um, and in the background, obviously, the discussions with Tanzania are continuing and we feel like we're really well prepared for our final hearing in January 2023. Um, Bronwyn and myself are at C27, so please drop by and have a chat if you want some further information. Thank you. <laughs>